James is going to explain exactly what's going to happen. Everyone knows. <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. Uh, the pitch, what's happening next? Because they're, they're almost there, aren't they? they? They really are. So they're very, very busy. So uh, the guys have pulled everything together. We're quite excited about this next bit. Uh, they've been working hard. They've got their logos together. They've got all of their CAD CAM stuff together. They've sent their models to our applications engineer. We're going to be putting it on this machine later on. But now it's the nerve biting piece because they've now got to go in and deliver a five minute pitch to a panel of mentors but we've deliberately set it up in quite a confrontational way so the nerves will be there when I say confrontational these guys at some point we've all had to do it we'll have to go and have an interview so we've almost set up the worst case scenario it honestly looks like Dragon's Den in there um, and and do you know what? I'm quite impressed all the students seem really really up for it James, these are like 16 to 19 year old people here. Yeah, I know, I know, but do you know what? I was worried about how hard to push them. Should it be? They're, they're just, you can see them, they're, they're geared up, they're practicing, they've got their pitches off, they're, they're organized, they know who's doing what. Fingers crossed, let's see how it goes. Our name is G7 and the challenge was we wanted to design something that can machine quite quickly and just most useful for everyday life. Uh, we've chose to do um, a phone holder, uh, a modular phone holder that can fit majority of phones and the way that we looked at it was we got our phones out on the table uh, and they're quite similar but obviously there's differences in cases and stuff like that so we had to make sure it's suitable for as wide a variety as possible so it's got a bigger target audience. We were saying that like uh, traditionally these kind of phone holders are normally made out of plastic and they're normally not very durable and obviously we're looking at machine one out of aluminium so it's still quite lightweight but we've got a lot more strength and hopefully durability. We just learned that like you've got to bear in mind that it's actually got to be made and you've got like whilst you're designing it you've got to avoid sharp corners and problems that would well, things that later give you problems when you actually come to making the product. So it's just about being feasible. So as a team, we've come up with an innovative gear uh, stick that can be replaced by different components. So we'll manufacture everything in-house as much as possible to reduce the cost for ourselves, but also increase profit. But the top is also interchangeable, so we can sell that as an option to people. So um, that's to start off with, but as the company will grow, we can go into different products as well. So that can be dashboards, other car seats maybe, if we get more comfortable with that. So that's basically what our business model will be. So because it's like a oval shape, we'll have to draw in the CNC and we'll have to flip it over halfway through to machine the other side and then create the thread on that side. Um, so people can kind of request like a custom um, gear stick. So for custom ones, there's normally a time frame, but we can also make just normal generic ones that are like it can be like mass produced just for any customers i just say how much you thought about this is incredible honestly such a powerful pitch um okay and um, what have you enjoyed about the experience uh well working on cad and working with the fusion and having the well the freedom to design what we actually wanted to design and well start from there yeah so anywhere you go sort of hotels hostels well dorms well you'd sort of have a little less security than you might want so if you have a physical way to stop people from getting in, then that, that's who it's aimed at, people that don't want others in your room. Tell me about your design. Um, the design, well, what we went with is stepped um, at the edges so that it can slot in, secure the door and prevent the intruder from coming in. Um, it provides friction against the, um, the carpet. However, we've done it for soft flooring and hard flooring. So a silicon base as well for the hard flooring. So if you're traveling and it's hard flooring, soft flooring, it can be universal and it can be used like that. Yeah. And with regards to machining, who's the machinist amongst you who would be considering that? 
You too. Okay, I'll come over to yourself then. So with regards to machining, uh, what are you looking at? Um, we're just like what tools we need to use to like machine the part and uh, the safety precautions we'd have to take while also machining it to make sure nobody gets hurt. I'm Chris Oliver, I'm Head of Engineering at West Knotts College and today is a make-off event for our students. So today is about a combination of all the skills that the students have learned throughout the year and then basically merging them all together to output a product that are working with industry. I think the, the links to industry and working with those employer skills is, is really beneficial for them to actually to, to get them out into industry in the future and actually show that what their skills are all about fundamentally. What's really impressed me today is, is the work ethic, the attitude and, and the engagement with just the whole event. It's just been, for me, it's really proud to see the students do that. Uh, it's been a really long day and I'm conscious that some of you have got buses to get at four o'clock. Uh, the first thing to say is that you all gave us one hell of a headache in there. Um, I've seen a lot of stress going on today from certain people. I've seen a lot of pressure, but none like the judges just had. I have to say that you guys conducted yourself with far more professionalism throughout your day than the last half an hour's bun fight that we've had in there deciding who's won. Um, it's a bit of a cliche to say that every single group has won today. It sounds horrible to say that, but actually, we all commented that every group that presented was strong. Every group. Uh, and I'm personally amazed. And, and I really am. You, you have impressed a lot of people in this room. The winning team has been announced and the, the students have literally just pressed the button. They have, they have. Um, you can hear it now. It's just doing the roughing cycle. Wow, I tell you what, the students throughout the whole process have been so uh, impressive and professional. Um, I can't say the same for the judges. It, it, was, it was so difficult to choose out of the 10 groups. Uh, the judges spent so much time trying to pick between it. it they were, all groups were, were fantastic. I, was, I overlooked and I saw some of the judges talking and it wasn't just about that tick boxing element. You were thinking about industry, you were thinking about supply, demand. Even the students were thinking about like the cost of billets and stuff like yeah, that. I didn't yeah. realise how much they'd go into yeah. depth. We've, we've got so much more out of this than we ever thought we would. Um, it's the first time we've done it. Yeah, there'll be some tweaks, but wow, th th this has been so good for so many people, the students, the suppliers. Um, it, yeah, I know, they're absolutely loving it, aren't they? Um, and, and, and the winning idea, actually one of the customers, a hash user, a customer went, where can I buy it? Um, there's nothing like that on the market. And these guys have invented something that they're now making. Um, incredible, absolutely brilliant. And, and it's a really, really nice application. Watch this space, it might be on somebody's shelves. I'm keeping my lips tight. I think it will actually. It's not, it's not our product, it's not my product to sell, it's theirs. They've, they've actually, they own it. You know, it's fantastic. Really, really good.